We're moving, but not for long? What oh, do you mean? No. I should warm my storm shirt too. Uh, I wish. All right, guys, welcome. We are going to the Westport County Fair. Westport Fair. County Fair. Yes. Uh, there's a free shuttle bus from Baizo, just outside of Townsville City, that could bring us to the fair for free. Yes. But not for long. But not for long. Damn it! This is our first time going to the fair together since 2019. The last time we went to the- 2019. 2019. 2019. 2019. 2019. I got a scam message from Colorado. Speaking of Colorado, we didn't do it in 2020 because it didn't happen that year. In 2021, either Dirk was in uh, Colorado or I was at college. Yes. The bus is accelerating. Now get ready. Here we go. Walk. And I'm wearing my Stormrunner shirt as you probably saw already. That's right. As well as all my park trips, these will all be in one video, of course, so you don't have to scramble around to find them. It's going to be a lot of fun, or so I've been told. Wait, what does that mean? Oh shoot, I forgot to tell the ticket people, try this! No! It's usually for parking, but we don't park it because park is like 20 bucks. Um, oh. I'm not sure why land is that expensive, Townsville City. So we took the free shuttle bus from the Mall Ibizo to here. And during the bus ride, Derek were talking. Last time we went to the fair together, our trip to Seal Point wasn't even a concept. That's true. I think I thought of it like the next month, like shortly after I went to UNH for the first time, uh, which I'm wearing the shirt for now, so people from high school would remember me. If we met ourselves from our 2019 visit here, they would know most of the jokes we make. Well, I don't know. I've been looking for 40 years. The story is these two idiots. What jokes are you making? I'm not sure exactly, but not for long. Or so I've been told. Super duper looper at Six Flags Magic Mountain. Hey, I've heard that ride. Isn't that at Six Flags Hershey Park? Yes, maybe. No. Oh my goodness, guys. You'll never guess what we saw at the fair. We, we just did Derek's intro video. There's a pool. <laughs> Just That's one joke that it's us from three years ago wouldn't know. Yo, Dirk, I, I see something that we need to take note of over here. Over here, do you see this thing at an angle? It kind of looks like a Vacoma boomerang. <gasps> it's a Vacoma boomerang. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Yes. My favorite ride. Can you see the Dora the Explorer? It's right there. Where? I it's don't see it. Right behind you. Look over there. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> My cheeks hurt already. And we're and we haven't even ridden a single ride. There's a roller coaster, a dragon wagon. There's a dragon wagon. Because it's not permanent. But not for long. Yeah, they're you know, too hard to keep track of, so I don't count as a credit. But it's a roller coaster, a nonetheless. Roller coaster. Wait, you need to get a wristband. That's true. It's not free, it costs money. But not for long. Redeem online vouchers. So we got our wristbands, and here's the sweet game ride, and the Storm Area 51 training simulator. Yes, but what should we go with first? Well, there are just too many good options. But not for long. Look at this weird Ferris wheel. It's the world's tallest Ferris wheel. Six Flags could build a Ferris wheel and just advertise it as that. That seems like something they would do. I think we're walking towards the credits, so why not start with that? It's not a credit. Well, to the roller coaster. Okay, it's a coaster credit, but it's not a credit, we could say. Um, yes. My mind is about to explode. In true us fashion, we're starting with the dragon wagon. We got our wristbands. Because of course there are. There seems to be some space here. We're just two random enthusiasts at a carnival. Yes, and I have no shame. Oh, and there's the Kraken. Yeah, uh, the Genesis is, seems to be behind it today. Wait, uh, you were saying over where the helicopter is. Yeah, I love the helicopter is. being next to the uh, Storm Area 51 ride. Yeah, uh, that was, uh, uh, and this was over there, but they always keep the swing game in the same place. Yeah, the swing, 
Stupid bus. Stupid bus. Oh, and that's uh, seven dollars cash to overspend those tickets. Oh no. Huh. Like a bumper bus. Oh, and once I, I bought, not bought, won a Garfield. Uh, a Garfield? I won a Garfield at the fair. This ride takes five tickets. They're like 150 each, so let me let me do the math. That's, a lot of That's 750 for this one ride. That's so for just stupid. Half a dollar oh, more. Me, you cool. can ride Wild West Express. <laughs> Apparently it's called Dragon Coaster. Yes. That is stupidly expensive. I know, but Good. it's so dumb. We only need to ride it uh, four or five times to redeem the value of this. So let's marathon. Yay! Whoa! I wish I got this for you guys, but it was rolling back, and then Derek said, now get ready, here we go. And it launched up. It's actually a launch coaster. Look at that! It's a launched, it's a launched dragon ride. Yo, dude, this, this might be bare like one quarter of the coasters I've ridden. <laughs> All of my off rides are free to use, always. Yeah, I really am contemplating when it's going to have the, oh, uh, brakes. Oh, there we go. Oh. Or so I've been told. It's about the valley. It rolled back. It rolled back. Oh my god. This is gonna go viral on TikTok. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Right, I never suspected that there would be a roller coaster, let alone a launch coaster at the fair. Is this made by Wizard and Rise? Uh, I want to say yes, but man, a launch coaster at the it's fair. A launch coaster at the fair. What is life right now? My goodness. I, I mean, I, I tried. I really did try to. Uh, think of it as my number one, but I, I just sort of couldn't but not for long. I came in expecting nothing and so uh, I, I like it more than I would have otherwise Yeah, that, that was like the tamest launch coaster ever if you even call it a launch. Yeah, uh, I'm not too sure exactly. I'm not sure exactly. I don't know. That was definitely the best yeah. dragon wagon I've ridden. I only ridden one dragon wagon. My number one dragon wagon. Let's go on this next. Yes. Dang, Genesis was a fun ride. I like that more than Alibaba at Waltermere. Yes, you like that ride. Oh, dang. Oh, there's the Music Express. Oh, oh and I remember this one from the And there's the Genesis. It used to be called Pharaoh's Fury. So I used I, to call Pharaoh's Fury P25. I remember that. That was from a while ago. A while ago. Maybe they got a new one. Uh, yeah. That actually had airtime moment. Uh, yeah, that had some good That was crazy. Uh, Derek didn't like the end seat though, and I was the one next to him, and uh, his arm got kind of squished by the padding there. I mean, it wasn't. It, it wasn't, wasn't but enough if to you look over there. Like the edge is right up against the wall, so you kind like, of see what's happening. Even getting started, the ride just threw you in the air. Yeah, probably my second big ride here after this. Yeah, that. This is the best right here. The ups here I've noticed aren't very great. 
they stopped the scramber last year so more people could get on. Wait, last no, wait. year? No, wait, last time. That was in 2019. All right, we are back. I forgot how cool that ride was. Like, uh, when Dirk said, wow, the ride hasn't started yet. What do you mean? It is started a little bit. Oh, now we're going to get the air time. Yeah. You're just pushing up. It feels like a roller coaster. Honestly, yeah. Hi, girl. Look at the upside down Yeah, wow. Dang. How was the upside down ride? How was the upside down ride? Oh my god. Yeah, Kraken. Insane goes junky. Spider may be your factory status, but this is a factory of happiness. This is still my favorite ride of the fair. Me I too. Like, I, I was telling James, like, when we were just sitting around, well, the ride hasn't started yet. And he's like, what do you mean? And then, <laughs> and then it started rotating, like, going up and down. And, like, yeah. you get insane airtime. It's, it's almost it's on a like, flat ride. It's like a projector. It's, it almost feels like a free fall in some places. Yeah. But actually, like, not and scary. Really, or so I've been really told. Good positives and spinning. Yeah, I really, really like this ride. Still my favorite ride at the pit. And we were, like, in the equivalent of that car up in the sky. I was like, wait, why are we above the loading platform? We're going down. Oh, are they loading this one? Oh, wait, we have to get off. Yeah. Right. Dang it, now we have to ride again. Oh, dang it. Want to ride again? It was at this moment that James knew he fucked up. Oh, oh my god! No! No! no it's okay, it's okay. Would you like to ride again? My answer is oh! <laughs> Alright, so we both just anyway, drunk and sailor ride. Uh, I still like Sea Dragon at Waldemir a little bit oh, more, yeah. but uh, yeah, sure. I, I like that there was a pirate steering the ship in the poop deck of the <laughs> shit! <laughs> <laughs> the poop deck of the shit! <laughs> The poop dick of the shit. <laughs> the poop dick of the shit. <laughs> oh my god. It starts out very slow, but not for but long. Not for long. And then there's a little bit of air time, but it's even fun when you make your own air time. I wouldn't recommend, of course, but not, not for, for long. Not for long. <laughs> Alright, we got off cracking for a second time. A couple of interesting things happened. One thing I forgot to mention about Drunk It's Here was on that ride, which said it's like an upgrade version of Jumper at uh, Wiener Prater. Someone had their phone, two people had their phones out. Yeah, two people had their phones out, but when it started going up and down, they started Right. The train! We saw the Amtrak train going northbound from the ride, and also, I calculated, we already paid for these. Uh, in rides, like we are, we rode thirty bucks worth of rides. Anyone who doesn't get the wristband is an idiot. Yes. Oh, ju just so we, I didn't say anyone who's an idiot doesn't get the wristband. I said anyone who doesn't get the wristband is an idiot because we are idiots. No, not the two idiots, just idiots. Wrong. Or so I've been told. Oh, another thing. Uh, on our ride on Cracker, we just laughed at our joke of the day. We do something called joke of the day. Whenever we laugh at something on one particular day, money! We write it down as our joke of the day. And it's either, uh, it's a close tie between, uh, or so I've been told, and of the shit. <laughs> or so I've been told. You're writing this? Yes. The Zamperla yeah. Velari, but the less but bad version. <laughs> That's right! Alright, uh, cliffhanger was fun. It's, you're kind of like in a Zampera Velari position, but it's definitely better. Uh, it definitely had smoother positive keys than Batwing, I must say. Uh, help want to take down about $50 an hour. That's not an acceptable wage. It's a full job. You should be getting paid more than that. You should be getting paid a living wage. I don't know what's so difficult about that. Alright, here's the uh, scrambler. Let's see if they stop the ride again to let more people along. Even if it's us, like, they don't stop, the, stop ride. the ride just for us. Or, uh, there are a couple of empty cards. In this case, I would understand, but if it's moving, get, get moving. We're just people in the queue line. All right, Scrimble is actually about to go away here. So instead, we went to Rockstar right next to it. Uh, and when it stopped at the top of there, uh, we quoted that El Toro Rhyme video where they're at the Percy's Tower and they're like, all right, ready for the jump? Ah! 
You ready for the drop? Just give me a drop tower. <laughs> 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 That's my favorite part of any El Toro Ryan video so far. But not for long. Or so I've been told. Don't worry, I'll put this phone away when we start moving, of course. Or so I've been told. Oh no! Alright, ready for the drop? Ah! Oh, me! Me! No! Me! 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 Uh, the operator asked, why do we walk away? He was going to load us. We were, we're waiting over there. But then uh, we, we went to this ride. But my aunt said, we just weren't aware that he was going to load us. We thought he was just going to start the ride. Um, yeah, that, that's all. We big that ready for the jumping again. Okay, ready for the jump. Ah! <laughs> you only use that or okay, here it comes. Not both. They, they, yeah, just, not work, both. they just work together separately. Uh, okay. okay. Ready for the drop? Wait, 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 drop. Ah! Imagine if we add that in how to play Minecraft 1.19 or if uh, how to play Minecraft continued at all. Yeah, that'd be cool. Like, I, I know, for, step on pressure, man. I know it's a TNT side. You're far away from it, so you don't notice it. And I'm like, wait for the drop. What? Ah! Next time we go on, right, I'm gonna time the ops on it just because they're so slow. I, I did three clips. Before we start, uh, and I'm thinking about making notes for our joke of the day. Let me see oh, if I can do that. More people on. Oh my god. Yeah, I think I can do that. This is the fourth video I made. We had a whole conversation. I made a note to my phone, and we still haven't gone. The squad alone, we're off, right? It's still. I'm going to now check the uh, ops on every ride we go on. Dirk said, like, the. Up for a scrambler, check out seeing the more people, and like it was insane. We yeah. probably spent like six minutes waiting for rides, so one minute actually uh, going, and we were like dying. We well, were, like, not really. Dying. We, we were, were like, like, we were like, we were like, we were like, like boom. Oh my god, the opposite. <laughs> now, for Squall, I were off 231. Uh, off. all right, now scrambler ops. Jeez. Now, now Scrambler up at the Westport Camp here. I have a message for you. Shit. <laughs> I made that YTP of Dirk. Yes. Man, if someone made a YTP of me, that would be so cool. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah. No, uh, that's not in my own name, that is. Anthony, you're not important. Just kidding. You're especially not important. It actually has a queue. Ah, the swing gang is the only uh, ride with the queue line. Wow. All right, let, let's go in. All right, wait for the drop. What? Ah! All right, so we took for the swing gang ride. It was all right. It's the opposite of the one six flags in England because you slow down before you're in the and now we're going to go on the side, which has uh, Voyages Triple Down. Wait, uh, Derek? What are you doing there? What? Oh, triple. I should have gotten an off ride of you going down, but that was decent. That was very fast. Oh, uh, we had a good time so far. Here's a Storm Area 51 ride. It's actually called Pirate's Island, but whatever. We're going to get some food. I mean, there's food here, but it's like carnival snacks. I want to get a meal. I want to get a meal uh, that will fill me up for, and not give me diabetes. Oh, so many delicious foods. So far, I don't see anyone I know, unless you count Derek. Do you see anyone you know here? Uh, there's one right there. Uh, oh, wait a minute. All right, we are about to eat at the fair. I got a donut burger and some corn bites and lemonade. Dirk got something like that too. There's a little bit of trouble getting in, but he did. They got this. Uh, they just ordered number 59. Everyone pays just 59? Kids are the best price of the year. Yes. 25 kids and 20 coasters led by 59 the Lion. Coasters. Well, I'm hungry. Let's eat. I like those corn bites more than the actual sandwich. I mean, sandwich is good. But those corn bites are delicious. It has like this white sauce on it. And 
kind of remind me of having sushi and like these bits here they weren't fish eggs but sort of remind me of it a little bit I like how that was one of the best foods i've ever had i like how after bites. we've eaten animals we're gonna look at them oh no oh no oh it's barn 34 okay yeah. now i have a question for you derek yes uh, we lived on the Delmarva Peninsula our whole lives. We've seen lots of farms, right? But in all my experience of traveling uh, on like Route 50 and such, what kind of animal lives here? Attention. What kind of exhibit is this? Oh, a dog. Oh. So do you think the dogs live in this kind of habitat? Do they think they live in homes with coolers and lifetime tables and crock pots and Dorito chips and cheeses? Wait. Uh, do they think they live with folding chairs and boxes and looks like some kind of wine? I don't think they would live in here. I mean. It doesn't seem very like organized and sanitary. Wait, maybe a minute. the maybe the keeper needs to come. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you want cultured swine? Did you know, Derek? That about eleven percent of U.S. farms are serving or have served in the military. <laughs> I love playing music where it's not relevant. Like, uh, Russia is the uh, Toy Doll Overture, North Korea is the William Doll Overture, and the Vintage, you just make the stupid <laughs> Oh, Rabbit Barn! I know what's next. <laughs> I mean, we rode Superman yesterday, so that's not too far off. That's right, just a day late. I wish I would put speakers on the ride so we could listen to it while we're ascending the lift hill. The chain lift launch the chain system. Chain lift launch system. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> So it's, how does it feel so this being one, called this that? Yes, yeah, yeah, so this one's empty. Uh, a ghost. Yeah. Wait, where's the rabbit? I don't see it. I don't see it anywhere. I remember we were once reading a document in AP World History, and it had booty in it. Uh, it was like like uh, a ship uh, primary document, and the whole class just started giggling and. Complete seriously, uh, the AP World History teachers, well, and the booties, whatever they stole. Mm. But we all know what it actually is. Yes. It's a rabbit! Oh, that one's called Hershey. Hershey Park Happy. Oh yeah, that's Hershey Park Happy. Hershey Park Land. There's so many things to see and do. Good times to be had. Dude. So many things to see and do. Hershey Park. Riders will plummet nine feet through twists and turns, coming face to face with a massive Bugs Bunny. You just had to make six 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 a store join. Come on, you could have done better than that. Well, yeah, six six on, five you is done. Hades. You're Hades three sixty. Close enough. What? What? <laughs> I thought that's a trumpet. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh my god! Yeah, I promised myself Taco Bell. Oh, you're out. Strike two. Yeah, There's strike one and strike three. It's oh, it's it a strike baseball. one, strike two, strike three. You're out. It's a baseball reference, but I'm not sure how they work as names. It's kind of like how once the Kentucky Derby winner was called. I'll have another. The plan is simple. I fly to the moon. I shrink the moon and grab the moon. I sit on the toilet. What? Eight seven seven two four one. Luna. 
<laughs> Remember that? Yes. As well as Empire Today, that was like one of the most comic. There's another ever. one called Hershey. Ooh. Uh, where do I also hear Nala? Uh, I think of the Lion King. A Phoenix? Phoenix Yes! yes. Well, this is the closest one we have to Elsa, but the song must gone. So it's Frozen. Hey Frozen, what character from Frozen are you supposed to be? Your Elsa? Hey Elsa. Please, I know you're in there. <laughs> People are asking where you've been. They say I'm current and I'm trying to be right here for you. Just let me in. We only have each other. It's just you and me. What are we going to do? Do you want to do the snowman? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Okay, wait for the jump. What? <laughs> what a way to end a four year saga! <laughs> four year saga! A four year saga. We did it. We completed the song. We're going to go into the Miko section. Goats are some of my favorite animals in real life. So oh, let's see. Oh. What? 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 Wait. We looked all the way from that rep named Anna, and there's one over here. What? Mickey? Tinkerville? Oh, which one's Anna? Anna. Anna. Oh, that girl looked like he's looking towards me, so maybe that's Anna. it. Anna. Anna. Do you want a bit of snowman? Oh, that that one seems to be looking. Like. Maybe that's Anna. Do you want a bit of snowman? Is that is that girl trying to escape? Try to open the gate? Oh no! These are troublesome goats! Oh no! Oh, oh, oh. We have to get out of here! It's kind of sad that a lot of these goats are going to be used for meat. That is, but uh, someone's gotta do it. Oh well, whatever. Uh, dog, 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 however, dog, you could dog, dog, you could just right click it and you get milk from it. Just right click it with a that's bucket. True. Easy. Oh no! I actually put one of them. <laughs> Will they head put me? No, apparently they do not headbutt you. Wait, no, it's escaping. No, it's coming no. this uh, way. Uh, we oh, need no, to he's going to headbutt. Oh, oh, no. We need, I have to run. We need to run away. Uh, you realize that half of your gummy is for chicken strips, right? Imagine naming a chicken strips. <laughs> chicken strips. <laughs> that one that seems to be loud. Oh, this one laid an egg. If you take it and you right click it, you can toss it at it. I tried ever since I got Minecraft to kill a chicken with its eggs. Like a year ago, I finally succeeded. Wow. Chicken strips! Chickens aren't completely the pilots. They just cannot fly very high. Not enough to fly over a fence or a tree. But not <laughs> for long. <laughs> He really does seem like he's saying, but not for long. But not for long. Do a rap battle with the chicken. <laughs> now here's something that makes me wonder. So, you know how uh, when Mojang recorded the noise for pandas, they actually took actual pandas. Oh, you're interested in the story too, aren't you? Yes. So, they recorded... A sounds of the panda eating or walking or sneezing. Well, what do they do to get the panda hurts noise? Or even worse, oh, how did they get the noise of the panda dying? <laughs> um, well, time to die. Well, time to die. Over here is the ice cream stall. Kaylin told me that he works at the ice cream. Is he here? Um, seem like it. Uh, oh well, we tried. I believe in that building right there. I believe in that building right there. Uh, uh, during your college fair, I was a college. Fair here once, a long time ago. 
I got to get information from a bunch of colleges. It was three bucks to school. I had to pay them three bucks just to come here. Dang. Why not just make it free? It's for my own good. And in that building, uh, yes, that building right there, there was just a guy who, if you tried to enter, I looked in and he just said, and he just uh, did this wave just to say, get out of here. Some Dang. people get got in and then they left a couple seconds later. Who would go into the middle of a kid's convention, get a big building, only to say, get out of here? Why not just lock the door if you don't want us to arrive? Hey, James, look there. It's El Toro. El Toro? Where? Right there. I have an idea. Next time there's a big convention uh, aimed for high schoolers, let's buy a huge plot of land there. We'll put up a building. And be able to do absolutely nothing there except tell children to leave. <laughs> this is the exact same thought process that guy had in that barn over there. I don't get it. I will never understand. <laughs> so over here somewhere they have some antiques and Legos. And I was telling Derek a story. So when I was a very, very little boy, my godfather gave me an Ernie and Bert motorcycle toy. And you know, Ernie and Bert from the Sesame Street, they're really cool guys. Ernie and Bert are for kids, right? Well, for some reason, putting them in a 3D format, it just didn't seem to work. Right. Uh, there was a Toys R Us somewhere outside Westport uh, that the fair bought the truck from and it's still there. No, Toys R Us didn't come back. Or so I've been told. For not for, for long. long. I hope so. I hope so. I used to love shopping there, but there was an Ernie and Bert like one of those quarter rides that walk you back and forth that terrified me so I always ask my mom if you can exit through the entrance uh, because it really scared me and there's this motorcycle toy that my godfather gave me uh, I don't know when uh, when I was like four years old and it terrified me it was like in every room I went uh, I, I, I had no control over it and I was terrified of being alone with it in the same room because I was afraid Ernie and Bert would pull me onto their motorcycle and kidnap me. Oh no. I had nightmares about it. I used to think well, maybe I was just being ridiculous. Maybe they're not so scary. Ernie and Bert are nice. They're nice guys from Sesame Street. Ernie are for kids, right? I Google imaged the uh, motorcycle toy, and this is my reaction. It was comparable to the time when I Googled www.fuckyou.com. Maybe not. Maybe not on that same level, or so we've been told. But my ex is like, no, 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 no. That thing was terrifying. Tell me again to my face that Ernie and Bert are for kids. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> are so scary, they should only be written by the bigger kids. You know what I have to say about that? You know what I have to say about that? I'm not writing it so I don't care. Oh my god. It's the truck. They always ask you to vote for Animal View. My animal never gets. I'm guessing that's a result of widespread voter fraud. So l let's vote again. All right, we vote for Animal of the Year for 2023. Wow. 2023. 
Oh, and a Maniac's character as well. I couldn't decide between Dragon and Goat, so I vote Dragon and he voted oh, here Goat and he said, uh, well, well, that's voter fraud. <laughs> Where's my Evo ticket? They actually gave me one of a fox. This year's Evo fox. I try not to think of fox news. <laughs> oh, no. So we didn't commit voter fraud. Or so we've been told. Um, not for I, I wonder, <laughs> there were five candidates. Are they using first past the post? Why couldn't we do ranked choice voting? Or like a uh, single transferable vote? Or... Just normal people need better voting too, as CGP Cray once said. Just uh, vote for all the okays. And, um. Alright. Oh, yeah, this is definitely the first place. Three. Tony, Tony, Oh, wow, I like this. Minecraft. Connects helicopter. I love making connects roller coasters when I was a kid. Is that like a a snake Batman? That's, that's oh wait, it can't be because it's Lego Marvel. That's Venom. Uh, it says it right there oh, at the bottom. I'm not too good with superheroes. Yeah, I, I like this. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, those uh, no, they didn't have give too many. And I voted sticker for when we voted for Animal of the Year. Uh, yeah. And we Fox. were thinking about voting for both of our choices, but then we were like, wait a minute, that's voter fraud. No! I always thought the competitions are kind of weird, like, look at that, that's beautiful. I mean, that's okay too, but how is that first place? That's just so much bigger, and so you can actually see the detail, as you can't. Uh, in 2015, I made a Lego cargo ship. I made the poop dick of the <laughs> ship. And, wow, that, that's pretty good too. More it's Minecraft. It is Minecraft. Wow. Not like that. It's like the old stuff. Partnership. And the, the one in first place, I don't remember what it was, but I remember that wasn't very good. Maybe it was like a fan member of the judge, which shouldn't be allowed. Maybe. Whatever voting system they're using, there was widespread voter fraud. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I still got a couple of bucks for me. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. This is always the first building we went to when I was young in the family. And I love this. I love the please do not drink the war sign. That was the best part of the building. The, the sign that says please do not drink the war. Think about the computer skills it took to make that, right? I mean, you can zero. pump the a Zero. Yeah, I mean, you can pump the water. Yeah, it's kind of cool. But look at these signs. Wow. So this is how things looked like back in the good old days. Ah uh, yes, the good old days. Before sanitation laws were a thing. <laughs> before <laughs> hygiene was popular. So let's let's take a look. Let's take a look at some of these words. Old fashioned. When you hear old fashioned, you're supposed to think, oh, this goes back to the old days. Right. The old days. Before we had sanitation laws. <laughs> before hygiene became popular. Back when botulism was still considered a sauce. Old fashioned. Old fashioned style homemade family goodness in a can. <laughs> <laughs> we went on a little bullshit hunt. <laughs> it's on a little bullshit hunt. We're going to catch a big one. It's a beautiful day. We're not scared. We're going to go back to advertising and we're going to go on a little bullshit hunt. A little bullshit hunt. I'm honestly expecting it. Yeah, I don't think about it either, but that might increase the surprise factor. Derek and I were talking about our future trip to Bush Gardens, Williamsburg. We're playing Six that. Flags Bush Gardens, Williamsburg. I knew you were going to say that. I have a meme idea. Wait, don't step on the shit. Ah, <laughs> oh, great. Now I have to wait for Travis to come and collect this pile of shit. The poop dick of the shit. <laughs> I have a meme idea. Speaking of Pantheon, when you take laxatives and a sleeping pill at the same time, all of history has ever seen a shit like this. <laughs> oh, wow. Hi, Road Mouse Trap. It does have a chain lift launch system, but it's not a coaster. It's like a wacky shack style ride. And it actually has some strong levels. I, I like the dip down there. Uh, there's some loud noise too. I didn't. Uh, record a conversation live because there's copyright music playing, so yes. we just looked at a pull up the memes. Yes. Those are some of my favorite memes. 
It's a fun ride. The crowds are starting to pick up, so let's see what we can do with that way too. This is the line for the Spear Street. My goodness. This could be bad. Alright, we're, we're going through pyramids. Oh. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, we go this way. Uh, uh, the, yeah, I think we go this way. Alright, um. Okay. Uh, this must be. It's just ice at this point. No. Oh, so you uh, I don't care. Alright, let's get here. Alright. So, you know what you Not here. I think it probably goes this way. Uh, no, not there. Oh no, we're gonna hit! This ride would not have worked during the pandemic. Yes. Oh, don't tell me. Oh. Oh, here we go. Oh no! Okay, so I think the goal is to get out. So I think we just go straight. No way! I thought we were just gonna uh, go through a mirror maze forever! Oh no! We're stuck in purgatory! Alright. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Alright, I found it! Yes! <laughs> I have another arm down here. Now I'm so short. Man. Now, I'm, now I'm left. Oh, oh dear. Oh no. What? That's a. Oh. It's very tall. Whoa. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, it's very tall. What? What? What about this one? My, my, my legs are fused together. Oh. I got how long my finger is. Oh, wow. Waiting for the drop? What? What? Ah. Alright, waiting for the drop? What? Ah. <laughs> we could technically go marathon that. There's no line, but... Nah. Nah. Nah, I, I have standards. Professionals have standards. Professionals have standards. Look, it goes over there. Like, if they were real, holy moly. You would... I'm surprised the train doesn't just get stuck down there. Look at the, all the air time. What way is it going? The, the, the seats don't really look like they're going anywhere. They look like they're going this way up here. Wait, you can pause. Are these seats going down? And so you can also slide down the coaster track? Or like slide into a truck too? This looks like the most intense coaster ever made! I know! Alright, we just uh, rode rides like Rockstar and uh, Scrambler. Uh, it was good. We're trying to find the end of the line for the Sea Ray again, but where is it? I don't see it. I don't know. I've been looking for 40 years. Uh, overall, we had a pretty good time. Uh, we made yeah. jokes a lot on the rides like the poop dick of the shit. The poop dick of this. And ready for the jump? What? Ah! Got you just in time. Yeah, but at Cedar Point, we noticed we didn't really have to make jokes on a ride. We just appreciate the ride. All we did was whoa at airtime moments. But here, you just kind of have to make your own fun with it. Yes. And of course, there's a tradition for Westport uh, County residents to come here. So we kind of like have hey, to come back. here. So far, I didn't say waiting, waiting in these lines is like waiting one train up on coasters. Uh, oh yeah. Yes, that but it's every go. single ride. Four and a half minutes for the swings. Like six for the scrambler the first time. It's it's more than Six Flag America. Yes. And it's not even a good product for what you wait for. Right. I mean, unless you get the wristband. 30 bucks, uh, that's alright, but like, you would have gotten to that amount like 4 or 5 rides if you got tickets instead. Kind of overpriced. Now this ride has a long ride cycle, and it's good for the people riding it, but for us in line, no. Yeah, can't they see that it's crowded? Can't they reduce a little bit? It's one shit off. <laughs> one shit off. 
Shower thoughts. If you say that a coaster's best part is the brake run, that's either a really bad thing or a really a good thing. Why are we above the why are we above the load area? We're about to get off. Why are we always the first people to get off? And the last people to get on. Alright, ready for the drop? What? <laughs> Alright, we broke one more time on the Kraken. Ooh, someone got a giant creeper. Uh, yeah. Uh, it was good. Where did Derek go? Oh, there you go. Overall, it, it was... It was alright. I mean, we had a, a pretty good time joking with every ride, but... As for the fair itself, it was all right. It was kind of overpriced, and there were way, way too many people here. The, the number one problem with the rides is that uh, it's really overcrowded. Like, I understand people want to come, and the more people that come, the more money you get. But it was really unorganized. They, the only ride that had a queue line was a swing ride. Uh, every or else, they just had to hold. The, yeah, the line spell out of the queue. They, they really need to work on loading those people up. Uh, without sacrificing safety. Yes. Without I, sacrificing safety. Absolutely. Yes. Usually that I see people I know, but this just don't seem to be the case unless you count Dirk. Uh, hey, wait a minute. I really like to buy an IC. I seem to advertise in places. I guess the ice cream could work. I just like something cold. Yeah. For the taste. Why is cold isn't the taste? It's the Bacoma Boomer. Yeah! Alright, uh, right, so we, we had, had some ice cream. Unfortunately, Kaylin's not there, but the actual yeah. ice cream is alright. Yeah. You got your ticket first. You paid four bucks for either a cone or a cup. And when you got to the actual place where they gave you ice cream, you can mix flavors. I got one third vanilla, two thirds uh, a, cookie dough, and vanilla cookie is an dough. underrated flavor. Yes. I'd say vanilla is the millennium force of ice cream. Flavors. Exactly. What's a Venn diagram of ice cream enthusiasts and roller coaster enthusiasts? We're not sure exactly, sure. but, but not for long. long. I'm not an ice cream enthusiast, although I have tried many flavors, and my favorite of all time is salted caramel. That is a fantastic flavor. Yes, absolutely. It is the best. Although vanilla is like in the top four. Yeah. By far, at least. Yes. Whew, yes. Um, overall, the fair was all right. All right. I, I really wish they would work on their capacity though. That's the biggest yeah. problem. They do have some candy down there, but I got plenty of Six Flags, which I barely even started. Yeah, I yeah. got some too. Yeah. Yeah, and we're gonna go to Spoin in just a couple uh, days. I think your move out, uh, your move out day might be tomorrow because I've started packing a little bit. A little bit? You need to get going. It's for college, but not for long. All right, so we need to go pack King. So I think we know what time it is to do now. Yes. We need it's to run. We need to run away. We have to go. We have to get out of here. We have to leave now.